welcome to this brand new series called Goodness in the Everyday. I'm going to be showing you my favorite daily go-to recipes and these can be some super simple things um, but really embracing um, great ingredients and the moments within each step of the way that really give so much joy to the whole practice of cooking. This is why I love cooking and this is what I want to share with you. Today I'm going to be making my very own um, rosemary and potato tart. This requires new potatoes. Don't buy old potatoes. This, I, When I say new potatoes, I mean the young um, new crop potatoes. They're more um, kind of They've got a better um, texture because they've less starch in them. So it means for a lighter, um, more um, vibrant tart. I'll also be using rosemary, um, dried rosemary. You can actually just pick rosemary from your garden or friend's garden, or in my case, you go for a dog walk and you find some growing rosemary on the side of the road. You didn't hear that from me though. Um, and it just dries in the sun for about a day or two and you can just keep it in an airtight container for the whole year. There you go, do that with oregano, mint, um, make infusions, um, comment in um, the comments below if you make your own special in, um, herbal infusions this way. It's a great way to make teas. I have other things that I dry to make um, herb, uh, caffeine free teas. Anyway, back to the subject of potatoes. I'm going to start peeling these potatoes and um, you'll need some uh, puff pastry or short crust pastry, up to you what you prefer. I've made some that I keep in the freezer, this is spelt, um, that I'm going to roll out and put onto a pie dish like so. Preheat your oven to 180 degrees and we're pretty much ready to go. So I'm going to start peeling. You're going to start by peeling those waxy little new potatoes. About 10 I would say. I like to compost the skins. It does great in the garden. Then you're going to slice up a brown onion and what we're going to do is cook it down over a medium heat with lots of butter so that you get a bit of colour and the onions become nice and sweet and soft. Add a sprig of rosemary, take off the, the little leaves, stir it around. Times like these, I really wish smell vision was a thing. By the time your house is beautifully perfumed, set your oven to 180 degrees so that it gets ready for your tart. Now your knife skills are involved. So thinly slice your potatoes. You really want your potato piece whopper thin. Anyway, then in another bowl, add a good half bowl of uh, sour cream, salt and pepper it and mix it together. Roll your pastry out two mil thick, then cut a nice generous border around your tin, about an inch wider. Slide it onto your lined tin, then fork it well so that it bakes well underneath. Then it's the assembly time. Slide on your petals of potato nicely around the bottom, making a kind of flower shape. Then add dollops of your cream, spread it around thick, and on goes those beautiful aromatic onions. Another layer goes on, salt and pepper, a bit more rosemary, a bit of olive oil over the top so it browns well, then fold around the edges and slide it into the oven. 40 minutes later and you'll have this. Beautiful, oozing, unctuous, crispy on the top, crispy on the bottom, deliciousness. So I hope you do get to try that little dish out. It's um pretty much a crowd pleaser with a carb on carb potato tart um, but it's 
definitely um, satisfying to make and it will definitely make your house smell absolutely delicious. Stay tuned for the next episode and thank you so much for watching. Thank you.